Yesterday, we had a shooting contest, McLovin against Doug Gottlieb, and it was very tense. It was 10 free throws, and then it went into sudden death, and then McLovin pulled out the victory. And uh, there's some people who are watching this, apparently. Mike Pemberthy, he is the uh, Lakers shooting coach, and uh, he stopped by today. He just wanted to see the form of uh, our shooters here on the uh, roster, Mike. Mm -hmm. And uh, what did you think, first of all, yesterday with the showdown between Doug Gottlieb and McLovin? Yeah, it was tense. I mean, there was some, there was some definite uh, some nerves there. And, and that's uh, a big part of shooting is actually being able to control your nerves. But uh, when you guys, you're trying to, how do you teach confidence? Well, you have to practice. I mean, your confidence comes from practice. Some guys have to practice more than others, um, and that, that just takes a lot more work. But you have to put a lot of time and effort in to be a great shooter, bottom line, bottom line. But well, we've seen guys who go to the free throw line and get mm -hmm. into their own head. Mm -hmm. Like you, Lonzo Ball, who's not with the Lakers anymore, right. but you're shooting just over 40% from the free throw line. Mm -hmm. That's almost imp – you're almost trying to miss if you're going to shoot 41%. Yeah, I mean, I, I played with Shaq. I remember Shaq going to the line at, at practice, and he would make 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10. And then he would get to the free throw line sometimes during the games. And sometimes you get too technical in your thinking. You start thinking about your elbow or your hands or what you're supposed to be looking at. So some guys who are actually just, just get up there and don't care and shoot it right away – they tend to make more shots because they just don't think. Um, other guys are, are just have bad form. I would say a lot of guys in the league nowadays, the younger, these younger generation guys just kind of get up and shoot it, and I think they need to think a little more about their form. So it depends on who you are and what you got going. But you also get into a rhythm, too. You get into comfort zones there. Mm -hmm. uh, what is your role as the shooting coach of the Lakers? Well, it's, it's got a, there's a lot of facets to it. There's a lot of, I mean, obviously there's, there's 12 players we're working with. They all shoot the ball differently. All of them have different uh, shot attempts that they get per game. So some guys, if they who shoot, you know, five or six times per game, it's important for them to be making those shots. Other guys who take 25, 30 shots a game, it's more about shot selection, maybe finding a rhythm, maybe getting to the line more often. Um, so helping guys understand their roles and then, and then to just be able to make shots. It, that comes down to shot selection, knowing our offense, understanding where your shots are going to come from. Um, and then there may be times when maybe their form or maybe their technique or maybe their rhythm is off and you can go through some some things, some some drills to help them find that during the season. How comfortable are you walking up to Ch or, uh, LeBron and going, you know, I, I see something with your shot? Yeah, I mean, it, it takes time to build trust. I mean, obviously, he's a superstar. He's 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 one of the greatest players that's ever lived. So. I, I don't have a problem talking to him about shooting at all. But he's a scorer, yeah. not necessarily a shooter. Yeah, and and being a scorer, you know, finding your rhythm at the free throw line is really important because some some nights you may not feel it, and I think you need to fall in love with getting to the line. You need to want to get to the line to find your rhythm. Um, there are some things in, technically that you can help with, with everybody. I think everybody can become a better shooter. I think as you get older, you actually improve in your skills. Your athleticism may decline, but you're – your skill set may improve. I mean, you're still a really good shooter. Um, so there are guys who can still shoot it as they get older. In fact, they get better at it. Kyle Korver is a great example. As he gets older, I think he gets better as a shooter. Um, so I think LeBron can still improve as a shooter. And, um, yeah, I don't have any problem talking with him about that at all. But also, and by the way, am I a really good shooter? Or, oh, yeah, yeah. Or a great shooter? Yeah, the word was. I think the word was pure when I, when I was out That is there. true. It's that pure. was my nickname in high school. It was pure. <laughs> <laughs> that that is Purell, I think, is what it was in, in high school. Well, I also like if I said your life's on the line and mm -hmm. somebody's going to take a shot mm -hmm. to save your life. Yeah, you might not pick the best shooter, but you might pick the most clutch guy. Yeah. So anybody all time, besides you, of course. Yeah. And me. Clutch shooter. Yeah, that you're going to take oh, with yeah. your life on the line. Larry Bird. Absolutely. No doubt. No doubt. Yeah. Greatest clutch shooter of all time. I think so, and I think there are tons of categories that fit different types of shooters catch and shoot or off the dribble or whatever. But in terms of clutch shooting, if I'm going to bet my life on it, I'm throwing Larry Bird the ball. Even if in three-point range? Oh, yeah. yeah. Not Ray Allen or no. Steph Curry? No. No? No. If I'm betting my life, I'm throwing it to Larry Bird. Have you ever critiqued somebody who's a would be a peer uh, to us to be a great shooter? A peer to you? Meaning, yeah, like we would go, boy, you can't say anything negative about uh, Steph Curry or Clay Thompson. Yeah, I mean, I think I can help all those guys become better shooters. There's always somewhere you can improve in, whether it be balance or shot selection or, or um, you know, maybe a, a, at how low you are getting into your shot or um, how you catch the ball. Um, so there's always there's always room for improvement, even with guys 
by Clay Thompson and Steph Curry. But I think they work so hard and they know their shot so well that they uh, they would actually probably embrace it. I've worked with Kyle Korver and he was willing 100% to listen to everything I said, which was incredible. And he's one of the greatest shooters ever. Ray Allen's pretty good. He's amazing. high on that list, right? Amazing, absolutely. He came into our man cave and yeah. I, I critiqued his shot. <laughs> I did. How'd it go? Well, it didn't go over well with him. But I don't know. He, he had the ball in, on the palm of his hand yeah. a little bit. Yeah. And I like more fingertip control mm -hmm. than you let it sit on that. I mean, Ray could have been a great shooter if he'd listened to me yeah. a long time ago. Yeah, he should have He should have, uh, yeah. should have. have hired you a long time ago. Yeah, but <laughs> can you see where that might be an issue if I think the ball's on the palm of your hand a yeah, little bit? Yeah, I don't think palms are. I, I think it's the worst place to have the ball in your hand. There's yeah, too many options. So. You have five fingers, and you don't want them going off all of them. You got one off. I think you should come off the, these two. If a parent is listening now, mm -hmm. and the advice that you would give to the parent or a drill, what do you do? Because I've said before, there are a few things that I always tell kids, you know, don't just shoot. Mm -hmm. If you're going to work out, then work out and make it feel like a game situation. Because yeah. nobody's just going to let you walk, you know, 14 feet out and shoot jumpers. Right. So work on these things off the dribble, left and right. Get mm -hmm. it up as quick as possible. Mm -hmm. But the one drill that you would say to parents, this is what your kids need to work on. Well, every great shooter has great backspin. I mean, you can go back to test time. There's, there haven't been any great shooters that have had knuckleballs. So the backspin is, is everything as it pertains to shooting in terms of that's, that's the result of what you're doing. So I would say in terms of evaluating your shot, if, you're, if your child doesn't have backspin, he needs to have backspin when he shoots it. That can become from a thumb or from a come off the wrong hand or whatever. Um, but like early on, if you don't fix that problem later on, you're going to have issues. So backspin and how the ball comes off your fingers. And then I just tell kids all the time, shoot it high and swish it. I mean, try to swish every shot you take. Why shoot the ball if you're not trying to swish it? What would you do with Ben Simmons? Well, I mean, Ben's, I mean, he's, a, he's an interesting wait, player. Wait, but I, I don't want you to get in trouble here. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, and I, and I won't. I mean, Ben's the kind of guy okay, I, I would uh, love to work with. You what know? would I mean, you do with a player like Ben Simmons? Yeah, well, he's actually really good going right. You know, there's been a debate about that, like what he should do right. Left. Is he right-handed or left-handed? I don't know, actually. Because he finishes know. right. He's amazing going to his right. Like yeah. he's probably he probably is more comfortable going to his right. Yeah. Um, so I don't actually know what Chandy is, but that would be a question I would ask him, and I would try to take him back to when he was younger. I mean, I think all of us shot the ball really good when we were 13, 12, and then you know you get older and something happens and a shoot. Maybe somebody tells you, hey, you gotta change your form or you got to shoot it a certain way and then you get outside of what's natural i would take him back to where or a guy like him back to where he's just more natural and where things feel easier to do shooting is not that hard when you take it back to where you were younger and use your body more use your legs more when you shoot i also tell kids that you know get close to the hoop and just work on follow through mm -hmm. so you're not struggling to get it up because kid right. steph curry has changed basketball absolutely and yeah. Every kid identifies with Steph Curry because he looks like he's a kid, mm -hmm. and they all want to shoot three pointers. Right, he'll have a greater impact on the game than Michael Jordan will, or any other player in in history, because they change the style of basketball and they open up everybody's eyes that you could do this. Yeah, and just to get that form down, because mm -hmm. we start off with shooting it off our hip, mm -hmm. and until you get to that point where you're strong enough, and that's why I always say start close mm -hmm. just to get the feel of mm -hmm. what it's supposed to be like and then as you start to creep out a little bit more yeah. add a little bit more range to it yeah and I, I think you're right Steph Curry's changed the entire culture of basketball more people can do what he did I couldn't do what Michael Jordan did but I can relate to Steph Curry a lot more so. would you like for me to show I mean if you want me to go to Laker practice I, like a you? consultant do you mind I mean I know you're busy <sighs> yeah you know. well here's the thing uh, the Clippers have already asked mm. But I'm going to be loyal mm. to you, Mike. Mm. That's that's a big deal. Because the Clippers shooting coach isn't here. But <laughs> but you're here. But if you want to tell Jeannie, mm. if you want me to do a drive, but who who do you want me to work with? Yeah, come by. Yeah, spend some time with Anthony. He's somebody I've known previously. He's you know he's 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 pretty good. Yeah, you were. But he could use you know. You were in New expertise. Orleans last year. Yeah, last two years. So yeah. you were the shooting coach last year. Yep, last couple of years. Yep. All right. Anthony's got a nice, nice uh, touch there. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, he's I, pretty good. I, I knew a couple of years ago he was working on extending, and then mm -hmm. you know, but he was a smaller player, mm -hmm. had point guard skills, mm -hmm. and then grew, had this growth spurt. Yeah, unique. 
in his in his growth as a player to start like that. I mean, I'd love to have gotten nine inches when you get to <laughs> when you get to high school. That'd yeah. be great. All right, um, we got Philip Rivers coming up, but McLovin wanted to shoot you with mm. uh, free throws. Okay. I did. Wait, He's what? So best of ten. He's the uh, yeah. The I Dan wait. Patrick Show champ. Yes, Do I have to is. go in the water if I lose this time? <laughs> it's up to you, Mike. Oh uh, no, you're fully. You're, no, you're good. I'm going to ask you again, Mike. What do you think? <laughs> the ocean, actually. Yeah, the, the, the ocean. ocean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, all right, you capable of doing that, McLovin? Yeah, I mean, I took down Gottlieb, the all-time assist leader, now a three-point shooter. Who's who are you going to bring out next? Is Steph Curry or Clay Thompson coming tomorrow? Mike almost made forty percent of his uh, three-point shots, I think, in your NBA career. Yeah, okay, I did. Yeah. I did. I made I, I made a few. Yeah, and then uh, you got to play with with uh, Shaq and Kobe and. Yeah, and Phil Jackson was a coach. It was a great run. What's your favorite story that you always tell about Shaq? I was walking to practice from the from the hotel. Shaq pulled up next to me, asked me what I was doing. This was about two weeks into camp. He says, what are you doing? It scared me to death. And I said, I'm just going to practice. He says, my teammates don't practice. My, my, my teammates don't walk. You need a car? And my wife, you know, I had one car. I was, you know, barely making it. And I said, yeah, yeah. And he goes into his glove compartment. And he throws me a wad of cash. And he says, go buy a car. <laughs> and so I said, uh, I said, wait, hold wait, on wait, a second. Wait, wait. Hold on a second. How, how, how much money are we talking about? I don't know. Hit me like a softball. I, mean, I was like, <laughs> knocked, the, knocked the wind out of me. You know. Was it rolled up so, in rubber bands yeah, there? It was just one. Just one little wad, you know. It banged me right in the chest, so. There's a million stories like that, but one of the most gracious people on earth. And over great, under great five guy. grand that he sent you. They over threw. for sure. Over oh. under ten grand. Uh, it hit me pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. a great story. Yeah. A lot of those. Yeah. Great, great guy. Yeah. Hey, it's great to see you, Mike. Yeah. I know that you listen to the show, and yeah. uh, we appreciate that. Good luck this year uh, as the shooting coach for the Lakers, Mike Penberthy. And uh, stick around because you're going to take on McLovin in uh, about 15 minutes from now. Beautiful. If you're capable of doing that. Okay, I am. I'm ready. I'm off the IR. Okay. This is the shooting contest. McLovin took down Doug Gottlieb yesterday. And now Mike Penberthy, the Lakers shooting coach, is right. here. What do I got? Five? Five uh, do squeeze off ten. Okay. <laughs> one. Yeah, no, ah. There's no doubt about that one. Right yeah. <laughs> Off front there rim. Roll. There you go. There's See, back rim. When it rebounds back to oh, you, that's when that. you know you really made it. Plus, <laughs> I, I tried on that one. I tried. I used to count them at misses if I hit the rim. Oh. Dan. Short. That was a miss. Short. <laughs> I think it switched. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, was a, he shoots at least 90%. Just to let I stopped you know. counting, by the way. I, I know. Thinking. I think this is 10. That's 10. 10. All right. All right. So what do you get? Seven? Six? How about this? A tie is a win for McLovin. A tie? How on shots. earth am I going to get? Hey, here we go. First one in, right? 10. 10. Oh. Yeah. Ice water. He was oh, short arm in that one. Yeah. Cold water. Uh oh. Ah. oh. Yeah. That's all right, All right. Uh, that's all we got. Eliminated. <laughs> Uh, I should. I'm a professional. I should be able to make free throws. But, I mean, McLovin's got good form. He does actually. He's got, got a nice touch. A little nervous. He didn't. Wait. Yesterday, you know, yeah. he laid on the front of the rim a couple of times. Nice, he soft barely, front yeah, touch. He barely yeah, barely. I'm totally nervous with him watching. <laughs> well, oh, but, oh that's, see, that's, that's the problem, though. Like Mikey said before, it's all mental. It's all mental. And none of us have any ability to it's play all mental. this game mentally. I gotta go in the water. Yeah. It's yeah. going in. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, take my where's glass. Where's the ocean, Mike? Okay. Where's the take ocean? Ten seconds. Five seconds. Watch your... Four seconds. No! <laughs> yeah. Dan, it's nice. Come on in. <laughs> for more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on BR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.